What is the difference between a high ankle sprain and an inversion ankle sprain, which is the common ankle sprain? Because they're not treated the same. You want to treat an inversion ankle sprain differently than a high ankle sprain. And there's certain dangers that come with each one that you want to get assessed before you start uh, installing your treatment plan. So I'll tell you all about that. A normal inversion ankle sprain is just that. Your foot inverts and you can tear the ligaments on the outside of your ankle. It's not between your leg bones right here, but on the outside of your ankle. And you can feel right there with your thumb to tell if that's the painful area. But a high ankle sprain won't hurt down here. It'll hurt up here. So if you push with your thumb, that's where your pain's going to be. The difference is with an inversion ankle sprain, you injure these two ligaments right here, which prevent your foot from tilting out of the ankle joint. Whereas a high ankle sprain is the ligament that holds your fibula and your tibia of your leg together. So the danger with a high ankle sprain is if you rupture the ligament, there could be space that develops here. See, normally a certain amount of space should be visible, but once it starts getting bigger, as you compare the two sides, so the left versus the right, you can clearly see that one ankle is much more open than the other. And in this case, this would be a higher grade complete rupture. And if it even gets worse, not only will you rupture the ligament, but you'll have a completely broken ankle. And both cases would need surgery, but you're probably not at that stage or else you'd be in the emergency room. But I'm just saying, things to look out for. So you have a high ankle sprain. What do you do? Depends on how bad it is. It could be stretched, partially torn, or completely ruptured. So if you have a stretch, you'll probably not have instability. You'll have a little bit of pain right there, more so than right there. And if you can still put weight on it, you'll be out three days to two weeks or so. What you want to do here is rest, ice compression. Ice is essential. Get it on there for 15 to 20 minutes a day. This will prevent inflammatory cells from getting in there. This isn't just to control pain. This is to speed up healing rates. Same thing with compression wraps. You want to wrap it up but not too tight where you don't have blood flow you can use any type of wrap uh, elevate it while you're watching TV that'll help anti-inflammatories per your doctor's recommendations take it for the first few days or a week until the swelling goes down and then the healing can begin and after that you can wear uh, ankle support now these things the anti-inflammatories, elevation, icing is not just for the pain. These things are to increase the speed of healing. And it will cut you down from that two weeks to maybe a week or less. So a partial tear, this is still a stable joint. It's just a little bit more painful, but it's at risk for getting worse. So don't put weight on it. You can't really tell the difference because you won't be able to see that clear space in between the two bones, as I mentioned earlier but it'll just be more swelling worse. So you want to do the same things, control the anti-inflammation, but eventually in the long term, if your ankle is still unstable after about three months, you may need some physiotherapy and some new shoes, that kind of thing. But don't worry about that right now. And the complete tear, this is what I was mentioning earlier. If your leg looks ridiculous like this, completely swollen, lots of pain up here, probably down here as well. It could be a break or a separation of the two bones. So this is another case. This looks really bad. You want to go to your podiatrist or the emergency room, get some MRIs. You could have cartilage cracks in your tailored dome. You could have breaks in the bone. And as I mentioned earlier, you're going to have that clear space. So go see your doctor, get some x-rays taken. That's the most important thing because a grade three will likely need surgery to prevent future problems. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.